Hi, Water Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you your general weekly message from April 15th into the 21st, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. I just want to apologize as well as tell you guys that I did yesterday get fake nails. Uh, I'm not used to the length. I have not had them in quite some time, so I'm having a hard time picking up the cards right now. Uh, so in regards to the readings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the cards, uh, the position, if it, qual if it meets that uh, explanation needed kind of thing, uh, and explain each card as I go along. So what I did was we're going to start off first with the sign of Pisces here. I did a 10 card spread, five above, five below. No clarifiers as of yet. I did pull an outcome card and two clarifiers. So whoever this is meant for, let's get started. I automatically try to reach for it. Yeah, I'm not used to it yet. So in regards to uh, your spread here, you have the three of wands, okay? So the three of wands is um, releasing. I just heard releasing, which is wild. I wish I could pick up these cards. Hang on, that's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> Hang on. I sound like a squirrel trying to get a nut. There you go. I just lowered it down. It's kind of like releasing that energy, okay, while you're waiting uh, for something that you feel that you're in the dark about. You have the moon card right after that. Right after that is the sun. So the sun card is that bright, beautiful future, but it's also known for the yes card. So this just clears, uh, clears to me is that, yeah, you've been in the dark about something that you've been waiting for. You want this situation to heal. I can reach the bottom uh, cards here. Uh, in regards to the star card, you want this wish fulfillment. You're waiting for this wish fulfillment. You're waiting to clear things up. That's coming to a close. In regards to getting out of that darkness and heading towards that sun, in regards to the higher font, which is that relationship. Okay. I feel that somebody has been in the dark about things, absolutely, with the moon card as well as the high priestess. Both major arcana, huge message in itself. The high priestess is known for that secret keeper, things left out in the dark. But I feel that in regards to a relationship, you have the page of uh, swords here. That's that communication literally facing this higher font. So that tells me is that there is going to be this communication in regards to a relationship. There will be that movement, all right, uh, with that eight of wands. That's that fast movement coming out of nowhere, absolutely. Uh, that has been extremely frustrating. You have the seven of wands right above the eight of wands. Now that also tells me is that from, to go from the seven to the eight, there is going to be that progression. All right, absolutely. But you're looking out optimistic, kind of frustrated in regards to um, of the unknown, in regards to this communication, in regards to this relationship. I do feel that, oh wow, that's wild. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness, hang on, hang on. Stupid nails. All right, you see how initially when I could pick up this card, I knew there was a reason why. They drew my attention to that bird there of waiting. Here it is. There's that same bird coming on in with that movement. So it's kind of like you are uh, very guided as well, I feel, especially with that high priestess there. She's a very spiritual card as well. So bottom line is this, okay? Uh, first card out, These are this is a new deck for me, excuse me. The Knight of Cups is that slow motion in regards to love here. That cup is that slowness. Uh, juggling, trying to keep it balanced in regards to a decision after quite a bit of time, I feel, uh, especially with that Four of Swords. So I feel after quite a bit of time waiting in regards to a relationship, absolutely, with that Knight of Cups as well as that higher font. And the Page of Swords literally turned looking at that higher font. I feel that there is going to be a decision made that is going to be able to calm your minds now with the Four of Swords here. So Pisces, bottom line is this, what I'm feeling here is that you're waiting for a wish fulfillment. You're waiting to heal, heal a situation in regards to something that you're definitely in the dark about. Absolutely. Uh, that's coming to a close, okay? In regards to this relationship, I feel that somebody is coming out of nowhere after quite some time and communicating after a very frustrating situation of the unknown as to where do you stand. Uh, definitely uh, ghosting here. Uh, somebody was not communicating, I feel. It's been very frustrating. Uh, but with the outcome here of that night, that's that slow pace. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel that somebody now is looking up towards that sun. Take a look at this. He's not just looking at that one pentacle, but it's up towards the sun here. So that's, yes, there will be a decision made, I feel, to communicate absolutely with that Page of Swords energy 
and to be able to rest that person's mind, whoever was ghosted, okay? And that is what I have for the sign of Pisces. I hope that that helps, guys. If I ever do find my box, I will put in the description box the name of this new deck that I got. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the pictures on it, but I know people get interested in that kind of thing. So if I do find it, I will let you know. All right, so let's do the sign of Scorpio here. And let me just write down the time. 529 for sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, hope you guys are doing well. I'm actually talking to a Scorpio on Match.com right now. <laughs> uh, but for Scorpio, we have, for the outcome, we have the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have, in your spread, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups could be dealing with another water sign, another Scorpio. But you have the Ace of Pentacles here, the Six of Wands, the Emperor, mm, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, rock on. All right, so let's get started, Scorpio. Uh, like I said, I can't pick up the cards because of my nails, but I will explain everything. Eight of Pentacles right out looking towards that Queen of Cups. So I feel this could be your energy, but I feel that there is going to be work put into this relationship here in regards to love. There will be a new start of balance with that Ace of Pentacles. It will be victorious in regards to the Six of Wands. Heading on over towards the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is a major arcana. He is known for the uh, male energy of the, um, you know, the divinely guided couple here, okay? I feel that there is going to be victory in regards to possibly a twin flame as well as what I'm feeling, okay? Definite movement coming in fast. You have the Eight of Wands, which is fast movement, fast communication, literally daggering over towards the Knight of Swords. So that tells me is that somebody is definitely rushing in after a very slow motion in regards to two knights. The Knight of Swords with that communication, the Knight of Cups in regards to not feeling that love, you know, postponement in regards to that love, all right? The Knight of Cups is literally turned looking at that. Oh, I can show you. I can slide that one down. The Knight of Cups is literally he heading towards this page of cups. So after quite an ordeal of slowness, I do feel that there is going to be that communication in regards to love, which is going to basically balance this situation with the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, you could be dealing with an earth sign as well, but I really feel it's like somebody is making that decision, I feel, absolutely. It's not overly happy. Uh, these are literally turned looking at this uh, Knight of Cups, okay? So somebody has been wanting this balance, wanting to hear from somebody, and is now making that choice to come on back into their life again, all right? Uh, here's your outcome. Yeah, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Very nice. Could be dealing with Fire, Leo, Aries, or Sag. Doesn't have to be. Especially with that Emperor there, that is Aries, after all. Uh, but the Four of Cups is getting that Cup of Love. All right? Uh, and it proves it here with that Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups literally turn looking at each other. Uh, but with the Seven of Cups right there, that's confusion. So I feel that somebody... <clears throat> excuse me, lack of communication, big time. Um, somebody I feel after quite an ordeal, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon. <laughs> yeah, definite lack of communication here. But I, I feel that this person is now coming back after an or ordeal of slowness. You're not going to see this coming uh, with this Eight of Wands, with this Knight of Swords literally heading over fast, okay? out of the blue kind of thing after quite an ordeal of slowness, all right? You're not going to see this cup of love coming in. This fastness is going to be like, what, what, you know, kind of thing in regards to communication with that page of wands, all right? Absolutely. So bottom line is this, Scorpio, what I'm feeling here is that somebody's been wanting this work put in, uh, whether that be you or the person whom you're dealing with, there is going to be a new start. It, they're taking it more seriously now, I feel, in regards to that emperor looking over at that victory card of the Six of Wands. Uh, it's going to come out of nowhere. I feel, I feel that it's been extremely slow, but there's definite communication that is now going to bring balance back in. It's going to knock your socks off, is what I'm feeling. In regards to that Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, you got the Three of Cups. That's, yeah, Three of Cups. That's rejoicing. That's being happy. They're, sometimes they make me subtract 
things or add. But yeah, that's the three of cups right next to each other. So yeah, definitely this is going to be a very happy event in regards to hearing from this person after quite a bit of time. So uh, we're going to do cancer next. I hope that that helps Scorpio. Thank you so much guys for watching as well. So let me mark down cancer <clears throat> and get my voice back. Ten thirteen for the sign of cancer. Okay. Hope you guys are doing well. Your outcome is the two of wands and the ten of cups. Nice. All right. So your spread here is the page of pentacles, the ace of swords, the queen of wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag. Doesn't have to be. Page of wands, uh, the hermit here, the five of pentacles, the seven of wands, the page of swords. Ooh, some big time conversation. And the Magician here. Three of Pentacles and the Magician. All right. So in regards to Cancer, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, you first start off with the Page of Pentacles. So I do feel that the Page of Pentacles is known for an apology. It's also known for that communication. Her energy is literally turned looking at that Ace of Swords. So somebody out there, whether that be you or them, who you're dealing with, uh, is thinking about having that conversation, having a new start of communication. Okay. Uh, now, the Queen of Wands is fire sign, so, but regardless if you're not dealing with a fire sign, that's that determination, I feel, in order to hear from this person. Uh, she's literally turned looking at that page of wands, so there's more communication. You got three pages here. So there's some serious conversation going on, all right? Uh, that page of wands is literally turned looking at that hermit. So whether that be you or the person whom you're dealing with is seriously manifesting, uh, deep in their thoughts about communication here. What I'm really feeling here is that because you got the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Swords, with the Three of Pentacles and the Magician, somebody is basically manifesting with their thoughts to communicate again. I'm feeling an apology here. I feel that they're going to be rushing in with that Five of Pentacles, having that change of that frustration burning up. In regards to communication, this page of swords is literally turned looking at that three of pentacles. So that tells me is that somebody now wants to put in that work. The three of pentacles is known for putting in that work. In regards to communication, absolutely. <clears throat> Boy, what is it with the voice thing going on here? But the thing is, is that they're definitely manifesting. They're so deep in their thoughts about communication that they actually, actually have the hermit and the magician. It's one thing to have the hermit in a spread. It's another to have the magician in the spread, but to have them both in one spread, let alone up above and below each other, there's some serious manifestation going on here. So if somebody is seriously contemplating to communicate, to apologize, to have that determination to figure out, yeah, I want this change. Yeah, it's been definitely frustrating. <clears throat> Goodness gracious me. Uh, two, <laughs> two of wands here in the outcome is making that decision to reach that fulfillment of love here. That's what I have. So bottom line is cancer. I apologize for the voice, but seriously, there is some serious lack of communication going on. They do that to me when um, I have no power over that. They, they definitely do that when uh, there's lack of communication. Somebody is seriously thinking about an apology to start anew in regards to communication. They miss this person, I feel, as well. They think about this person. They want to have this change. That change is to, you know, get this victory. Enough with the frustration. It's time to speak this truth. It's time to put in this work. They've been thinking about it for quite some time. And I really feel with the outcome card here, the Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups, they are literally turned looking at that Ten of Cups. It's time to make that decision to start anew. Thank you. And have that completion of the Ten of Cups here, of that fulfillment of love. Very interesting. Sorry for all the clearing of the throat but that's what they do when there's uh, some serious lack of communication going on so that is what i have not just for cancer but for all the water signs thanks guys for joining thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already also click that little bell on the side to get updated information i do weeklies dailies monthlies you guys rock stay strong and i'll talk to you soon